Rodolfo, you don't believe in any kind of a mortal soul or spirit that needs to empower uh, a brain to make a mind. So then how do you explain this sense of personal identity that we maintain, even though every molecule in our body has changed from the time we were a child till now, we feel like we're the same person. How, how, how does this, how is this done just with the brain? Right, okay, so first thing is how do we, how do we make an image of self? Yes. To begin with, at any age. Yes. So the image of self we make uh, by putting together the ability we have to bind things. So I see a, a, uh, a flower, I see, I taste an apple, whatever. All of these things when f come together uh, form an irreducible um, common denominator, which is the I. So what is this I? And clearly I is a simplification of everything that is happening. It is something that is, uh, um, a way to represent what is happening. Not unlike, uh, let's say, seeing the figure of Uncle Sam and saying it represents <laughs> the United States. Yeah. So we have this entity that we call self, which doesn't exist. <laughs> it is simply a wonderful way to address a functional state that has a, has a continuity. Now, the lovely thing about it is that we do remember being children that somehow the system modifies itself with the passage of time such that not only do we observe, not only do we analyze, but we remember what we have done before. Yes. So we have a history of our, of our own existence, which is us. Again, it is the, the image of Uncle Sam changing <laughs> a little bit with age, but still being Uncle Sam, right? right? right so right, right, right. so it, and, and, and I, it, is, it is amazing uh, what happens, I, I, I'd like to tell you very quickly a story that actually was very important in my life. Yeah. I, I had a, a grandfather who was a professor of psychiatry. He lived in a huge house by himself, and, and, and every so often I would, would be allowed to play in his house. And the house was fantastic because he had, you know, it was very large, and he used to have a big family, the kids left, and so on. So I could roam around and find things. Among the things that I found was an object made out of uh, metal in the form of a dragon. And when you move the tail of the dragon up and down, the jaws would close. And so on, when I ask, what is it? He says, it's, it's there to hold the door open. And uh, so it's completely a strange answer, is it? Well, that's what it does, right? You see the door, if you move it, the door closes, it has a spring, so it's a door stopper. <laughs> No way. <laughs> so you look at it and say, well, this cannot be. This is a massive stuff. And it has a, and I think, yeah. so it must be for something else. Yes. So, so it's, the jaws were very close together. So that there's, there is nothing that can go in there unless it's very thin. So I took a piece of paper and I put it in and I, brought down the tail and I opened it and I pulled out the paper and it was a seal. Oh, he said, oh my God. So I just remember the high. He says, oh, I understand. I, by thinking, can understand what I didn't understand before. Oh. So I, I go running. I mean, I was in elation. I mean, it was, you know, I, did, I remember the, 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 the incredible emotion, the, the, the you know, sounds like the world is my oyster. Yeah. I, I have an instrument that allows me to understand. So I go, my grandfather said, look what I found. He says, oh, so you finally discovered it. Wow. Lovely man. Uh, he simply, you know, in, in doing so, he, he told me that, you know, reality is there for you to play with. And it is up to you to and be I able to see it. Fascinating that here, so many decades later. I was later, four years old. I mean, I, I remember it absolutely. And you are the same person as that four-year-old. I mean, that's that's not. You look different. You, every molecule in your body is different, and yet you're that same person. That's right. That story is as meaningful today to you as as it was when it happened. Absolutely. Not only the 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 uh, the discovery, but the realization 
that you could do certain things, that you didn't need to be instructed, that you yourself, by thinking, could get it done. You, you, and I'm delighted that they didn't tell me. He didn't tell me, but he allowed me to discover it. And so, if, if he told you, you wouldn't I, remember. No, no, right. And I was the only one. By the way, it was nothing. Like people didn't. It was just strange. I mean, what is a dragon doing sitting there? That you know, it's very <laughs> surprising. So that was that was wonderful. But, but, so, but so yes. So, so this is your question. Back, back to your question. How is it that we can continue to have an image of self? Well, obviously, the advantage of having that is huge. Why? Because it means that we can, by learning, we, we generate experience that helps us survive. So it's absolutely of the essence in order to have a nervous system that allows us to survive that we should remember the experience we had before. And that's what that's the core of self. That's the core of self, absolutely. You, you are what you remember yourself to be. But if, if uh, uh, you have amnesia or some problems with your memory, you, you, you're still the same person with the problem. No, you're not the same person. You're the same body, but you, you, you may lose, for instance, you can actually lose, you can, you can lose um, half of yourself. This is one of the most incredible possible ever <laughs> uh, neurological conditions known as hemineglect. I mean, neglect. If it happens if you have a lesion of one side in the thalamus, in the center of the thalamus, or it happens if you have lesion of the cortex. Suddenly, you will find yourself seeing only half the world, more to the right. This is your hand. I don't know what that is. Somebody else's hand. You have lost identity. You don't, you don't know that you have two eyes. You don't know that clocks then go from 12 back to 12. It goes from 12 to 6, and that's it. You don't know that half of the universe exists. It tells you how qualia, it tells you how you are made. You're made out of two parts. If you lose one part of your brain, cognition in that side is gone. I mean, the, 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 uh, um, and you don't even know that you don't know. You, you ignore the fact that there's half of the world missing. You it's not that it's black. No, no. It doesn't, you don't know that it exists. What do you mean? <laughs> so, you know, the, why do you shave only half your face? <laughs> Is what other, what yeah. other face is there to shave? That's, I, I, saw, I, I did all my face, right? So, very surprising, very lovely, because it tell you, tells you that, in fact, although this eye is working, Although the thalamus is working, although the cortex is working, the system is not generating self. Why is it not generating self? Because it, it, the thalamus comes in two flavors. The thalamus that informs and the thalamus that put context to the information. The midline thalamus, the interlaminar nucleus, are the ones that produces the binding. If there is no binding, the activation happens, but you don't put it together into a cognitive experience. Mm. So we really begin to understand how cognitive experience comes to be. And all of these things must be bound together. And if when you eliminate any part, what we think is a coherent whole of understanding the world and all its, uh, its, its integrated its aspects disintegrates. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, what, what is, what I remember as a medical student finding it unbelievable. It's, it's, it's not that the eye is not functioning. It's not that the eye is that you're not putting it together, the, the, if you like, from an informational point of view, the, 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 the retina is being activated and the visual cortex is being activated, but you don't see. Right? So, so it tells you how the system works. The, some part of the thalamus gives you content. The other one gives you the context, how to put it together. And both together are necessary for this thing that we think is this the self. I, the self. Absolutely. That is what the self is. A thalamocortical integration.